<laughs> okay, yeah. Let's start with bullshit uh, number one. This uh, Trump tweet is one of the reasons why his account got banned for good. And um, I think it is, it is, in this case, it is good. Um, I also am worried about, uh, about future censorship because I am very afraid that, uh, that all this will strike back and uh, we all will have to deal with this. Anyway, um, let's talk about this tweet. And there you can see how he's, how he's already fueling this. Uh, he, he's, he's putting the last uh, drops of gasoline into the fire, where he's talking about uh, a sacred landslide election victory and um, great patriots badly, unfairly treated. Um, I think all of these are dog whistles. You know, they are so loud that, uh, that really humans should, should hear them. Right and um, or read them as, as he wrote it there, a sacred landslide. And this is what I what I also um, what I also saw on uh, on the first day of uh, of the of the riots um, before they stormed the, the Capitol. Um, status quo did uh, really interesting interviews with Republicans or uh, Trump supporters on the ground, and um, you could hear in that uh, uh, that from the stage there were a lot of religious. Uh, pseudo leaders or i don't know from which they were coming but it was uh, it was very uh, uploaded not only with politics but also with religion and um well if people think they are acting uh, on the side of god you know and uh, have a religion as their argument in 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 a, in a political discussion uh, it's it's getting very very dangerous you know and um it, it, well, it, it, and Marcus, it's not just—it's not just that. It's not just religious. It was all coaxed in a holy war kind of uh, context yes. of of yes. having like this is the last moment you can save the nation from this uh, enemy uh, within that's trying to destroy it. Because the Democrats, if they take po power, that will be the end of the nation. And that was the that was the message that was sent. And when you put it in such uh, terms, of course, uh, you you heighten. Uh, the ante, and you you make it like worth any means necessary to to defeat. You are absolutely right, and uh, you also uh, you also explained a little bit. You know that uh, you mentioned the holy war, and uh, this is why uh, we we call it we call it a, a clown coup, because. Um, if if you you cannot call it a coup it it was it was a riot it was a, yeah it was a riot of brainwashed zombies and you, you you cannot you cannot win a war or start a revolution with those ignorant people with those stupid people we will see um some examples um of the people there we we saw them they were posting they, they were streaming their, their stuff uh, of, uh, on, on social media they were uh, they, they were having their passports with, of their working places around they were they were they were uh, waving into the cameras they you know uh, you expect that those people would win a coup a revolution or whatever you know this this is stupid this is just stupid but I don't. I don't want to make. I don't want to talk it small. What happened there? Because I think the danger lies lies somewhere else. It is about the pictures, and in the in the uh, strange reality, those people are living. They. It was a victory for them. They will. They will um, blame it as a as a victory for them. That you remember. Remember uh, 2021 when we were storming the capital. This is in. Um, this is also. Um, um, um uh, fueling fueling uh, their um their strange reception of reality and of uh, how life should be and uh, it, it is it's just crazy and and look at this guy he was in the middle there i chose another photo uh to see that we could read clearly what he has written on his, on his hoodie camp auschwitz uh what, what's that work uh, makes you free? Uh, I can't no, no, see it right now. Here. I think it said, uh, uh, hold on, let me see. It says that work, right work brings freedom. Work yeah, brings sort freedom. Of, yeah. It is, 
it this was a cynical parole um, the Nazis put on one of the concentration uh, on the concentration on camps, the entrance, yeah. knowing knowing that no one ever would have a chance to escape from this camp. There was no freedom, and work was no freedom. It was a slaughterhouse, and someone who's showing up with this hoodie in Germany, he would face he would face hard punishment by the uh, by uh, by our laws. You know, because this is uh, this is a no go, and uh, obviously this is covered by uh, by the First Amendment, by the freedom of speech, and yeah, for, for me, for me as a German, it is unbearable to see such an asshole walking around. Let me just uh, uh, address something that you said, and and I, I don't quite disagree uh, that it's not a coup. Uh, but I, I think it is, uh, there's a better word that describes it, it's a putsch. Uh, that's a German name that's used, and Hitler, uh, for example, launched a putsch during his time. It does not require a full uh, military coordination or any other coordination. It's a, it's just overrunning uh, the government uh, by by people, by, by a mob. And uh, this, this was pretty much that. Uh, but what is uh, cool-like is... That my theory here is that it's not a coincidence that uh, that they broke in, that there was some coordination by Trump with certain people higher up in the police that to allow weak points and to allow allow this to escalate, so that uh, a martial law could could be reenacted. And it's totally understandable in this context that Trump was refusing to allow the National Guard from uh, 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 surging to the area uh, for for some hours after the this this all happened, and it explains why he was giddy when he was watching these images on the on the TV and was confused, frankly confused when uh, the rest of his staff in the White House was not enthusiastic about what was happening. Uh, yes, um, though I, g I gotta say. Um, of, of course, there, there were a certain coordination between certain groups, of course. But look at, look at the diligent work. You know, it, it, it's, it's still... Oh, yeah, no, no. A, I, I... It, still, it still stays a clown coup, you know? It, it yeah. doesn't matter much. Of course, it doesn't matter, you know? But in the end, it doesn't matter much who is involved, you know? Because in the end, it was a shit show. Yeah, of it was, course. It was... Of course, and right. we're lucky. We're lucky that people around Trump were were complete uh, idiots and like uh, Giuliani and others and incapable people. Uh, that if this was not the case, and that's the scary part. If somebody more competent came about, uh, that would have looked very differently. Yes, and of this, and you know, there's a certain uh, yeah. There, there's a proof. One single proof I can bring. Uh, for those who watched uh, uh, the uh, the hour long uh, um, shows from uh, Status Quo, uh, look at this. J just roll it, uh, Amos. This is something that, uh, yeah, that's John Farina's footage. He really got in there. There's half an hour of it. I, I really recommend that you watch it. I put the link in the comments. Uh, they they uh, basically at some point the camera turns and you see a huge uh, blue line uh, flag. Uh, yeah, every cop, every every black, uh, blue lives matter flag, and which is so ironic, when you're seeing what they're doing to these cops and how they're treating them, they stole their shields. They're basically at this point in the video, they've been pushed back from the uh, beginning of the hall, uh, all the way out to the outside doors. The police tried to close the doors. They reopened them. They smashed the windows. And uh, and uh, they're they're now uh, really uh, attacking the police. So let's let's watch the footage. They're shouting Zig Heil, don't they?
Yeah, so I, I don't know uh, if to me it sounded like they were shouting Zig Heil, Zig Heil, and then afterwards they're shouting at the police, get out of our house. They were shouting Uga Uga, which has absolutely no meaning. Uga Uga. It was not Zig Heil. I don't it know. wasn't it was, Zig Heil? It was to me it sounded like Zig Heil noise yeah. you know uh i don't yeah, know I don't, I don't know i don't know it doesn't and, and it doesn't matter and if you if you can uh can show us the the young confused uh, lady from tennessee please Thank you i got mace you got me <laughs> and what happened you were trying to go inside the yeah, capital I, I made it like a foot inside and they pushed me out and they maced me What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? <laughs> we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were just mazed. Unbelievable. Like foot and yes. Push me out and they and you can you me. can stop it here because the guy made a, made a little sound experiment with it. <laughs> Uh, well, um, and I think this this uh, is okay. only a mild version of a very deep disturbed person, in my opinion, right? Uh, no, I don't. I don't, th I don't, th I don't think she she's disturbed. I think this is this is you can see here white privilege. This is exactly what it is. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, the, like the, how the, can the, they attack us? We're we're here. We're rightfully here. This is our house. This is our house. You get out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh, um, Why is there yeah. a policeman, a black policeman, blocking my way here? Yeah, yeah, it's it's incredible to to see this, right? Uh, and uh, well, and this it, it was a wild mix, you know, of those people. I saw interviews um, 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 from from elder uh, elder couples. Uh, we yeah, were clearly yeah. in, a, in a different mindset. Oh yeah, what, of course. We're not, we're not violent and agitating at all. But it was no. There were there were hundreds of thousands. Them. It was of, it yeah. was not them only. And we also had, uh, um, of course, uh, um, uh, the um, the radical right wing in it. You know, absolutely. Also, People ca coming in in uh, combat suits and and with with stuff with equipment. They yes. found the weapons. They found Molotov uh, bottles in in a exactly. van. They they high, they high some bombs. of them were prepared. But that that's the tra tragedy of it is that this huge crowd there were hundreds of thousands of people participating in this pro in this demonstration earlier on and the tragedy of it is that they're providing cover for these nazis for these uh, really uh, nationalists that are that are really dangerous and in uh and in a fascistic uh, set of mind and 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 that is the danger yeah, it's not yeah. those people who are protesting peacefully outside. Yeah, there were a lot exactly. of more of them, exactly. but those, they're be giving those them cover. People, those people are, are uh, holding hostage in in, in in such a in such a riot. You know? I don't know if I would call it hostage, but yeah, there's. I think. I mean, I, yeah, because it, it is the mass. You can hide in the mass, and in, yeah. and in this case, you somehow hold them hostage also because they will, would give you cover. You know, you you cannot you cannot uh, uh, tell right. me that the elder couples who were interviewed would be in the in the first row yeah, of this. Of course. They would yeah. even set. A, I think they would even set a, a foot in in the building because of respect. But they also live in in the in the alternative reality. You know that, uh, that that Trump won it, and uh, yeah, yeah. How how can he? And uh, we we talked about this before the show, and I asked you, and I don't have an answer, and I guess no one has one yet. How can we deal in the future with those people who are so far away from what we percept to be the reality? That is a, that is the main problem. Yes, because there are people you know? who are who are truly believing these these falsehoods and and. In lies, and therefore, there's people in Congress that are willing to uh, to uh, go along with it. And that is uh, that is the true crime here. Yes, and uh, if if you look there, the, this picture, you know, and the the the, the next uh, photos we are, we are showing, 
it, it looks it looks like like a cheap uh, action movie you know it it doesn't it doesn't even look like like high quality it looks like like a like a stupid criminal tv show right yeah and and this and this is though though it was it was such a such a bullshit coup if you want to call it like this uh, it is it is the pictures it produced and the pictures who will who will keep the 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 legend living in 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 those circles right in yeah. the right winger circles I, yeah and I, I, truly i think that it's a miracle that not uh, more people were hurt because that they had a potential of really spiraling out of control and that would have fed into trump's hands so in a way i'm very glad that the police was was uh, uh, hesitant Uh, they should always be hesitant actually they should always be nice to people and uh, and err on the hesitant side and and try to de-escalate things uh yes yes and this is this is right let's talk about the, the role of the police in it um we we saw we saw uh, a lot of footage in the last couple of days uh uh which makes you ask uh which role played at least parts of the police in it right if you if you look back to the summer and i think and it was even every german media outlet rep posted uh, uh, um, had, had the question in it in in their articles how can it be that in in summer when black people are demonstrating that such a brutal violence is uh, uh, coming uh, came over them and at the capital you can see it here in the, in the photo you know Uh, I got you, babe. They, they are leading those delusion people down the stairs, and um, with, uh, and if, if, and it is absolutely crazy to see uh, that nearly nothing happened. That they opened the, the the barricades for them. That they took selfies with them. That they discussed with them. And I don't want I don't want to spread a, con a conspiracy, but um, I noticed one thing several times in the first uh, in the second day. In, in the front row uh, where it was filmed, um, that the people were uh, were sprayed with with, uh, with with pepper spray, or I don't know, I don't think it was mace, but it was. It seems to be pepper spray. And those people in the first row, they just wiped their faces and they addressed the, the police officers again. I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of pepper spray it was. You know, maybe it was. It was filled with rose petals. I don't know, but it did not look like those people were impressed by what they were sprayed with. I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It was only my perception. Uh, well, it was it, it was ridiculous. The barricades were ridiculous, and um, we learned that um, the uh, the police staff leaders uh, refused. Uh, I think even days before. Uh, to uh, uh to add the national guard or supporting forces uh they say they said uh, more or less everything is okay we got everything under control and uh yeah and you are you're and yeah well, what about those policemen and if, you know outside the police it it com it was a complete bullshit show by the police in but they and they abandoned those guys within the building we saw them those guys Who were there to protect uh, the representatives? You know, was, they were sitting there with with their guns in their hands, and others. We remember the the uh, the, the black guy in the in the building who had to, to escape uh, uh, upstairs, right? And 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 the crowd was following him, and they abandoned their own colleagues. And I think this also uh, should raise a discussion. Uh, we will talk about another voice about the rise a little bit later about a Chicago uh, a police union uh, leader absolutely crazy uh, but let's let's see uh let's see what you got here from so, travis acres yeah before before i do that i want to say that I, i i don't buy personally that it's a intelligence failure it's not an intelligent failure you and i knew that this this kind of thing would, would could and would and likely would happen i didn't think that they would succeed because i thought that uh Uh, Capitol Police and the other forces would uh, reinforce enough. I was at, at, like I said in the other show, I was uh, at protests during the Kavanaugh time uh, appointment and other times, and the amount of police and other forces that were there 
was just incredible. They could overwhelm anybody that even stepped on the on the step, steps of the capital, uh, and they were arresting people. Here, there were basically no arrests. Yeah. Before um, you go, thank yeah. you, thank you, Kitten Smitten, for oh, yes. your for your donation. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Kitten. Uh, uh, so yeah. So basically, uh, it's it's. I I think that it's clear that there was some something going on beyond that. I don't. They they. Uh, it's known now that they denied uh, help. They were offered help by the National Guard ahead of time, and and by the FBI, they refused to accept it. I think that's by design. I don't think that is a mistake, and I think that uh, that they're going to have to investigate uh, further and see what's going on. Here's a piece of video that you probably have not seen. I found it. It's a TikTok video from Travis Jakers, and here you will see a policeman doing his job. Yeah, you saw that. There we go again. Yeah. A repeat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can't deny yeah, yeah. those videos. I mean, that they, they're they're out there, uh, and uh, there are people who were at the events, and they 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 uh, they tra are traced back. That these these are. Uh, Real evidence that yeah. they uh, they should yeah. consider when they're investigating this. Yeah, and then, and after all those those photos, after all those uh, uh, eyewitnesses, after all those uh, footage, there is still a, a a worm, a creep coming up. His name is Matt Getz. I'm afraid that he has somehow German origin. I don't hope so, but it looks like looking at his family name. But anyway, you guys got to deal with him and look what this idiot has to say. Some pretty compelling evidence from a facial recognition company showing that some of the people who breached the Capitol today were not Trump supporters. They were masquerading as Trump supporters and in fact were members of the violent terrorist group Antifa. Now we should seek to build America up not tear her down and destroy her. And I am sure glad that at least for one day, I didn't hear my Democrat colleagues calling to defund the police. Wow. Yeah. 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 And, and, uh, and that's can, happening can, after this whole debate. Yeah, of, of course, after. And, yeah. and, and you can see there's someone, there's a young Cheering. man with strong ambitions mm -hmm. to maybe get into the race for the next presidency because he is clearly aiming at the radical uh, Trump supporters, you know, maybe who are, a good number is already uh, abandoning also the Trump ship. Maybe he thinks I could be their new leader and uh, I got to be as radical as Trump was, maybe a bit, a bit more. You know, it's only one example. We also got another guy. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll later. We'll... We'll touch on that also uh, later in the in the show in the segment uh, in hashtag impeach the clowns. But uh, here we go. And here we go. We here we get uh, uh, Ch the Chicago Police Union president, who's who's defending what what happened. And yeah, there was no arson, there was no burning or anything, there was no looting, there was very little destruction of poverty. It was a bunch of pissed off people that feel an election was stolen somehow, some way. And then he goes on. They're individuals. They get to do what they want. Again, they were voicing frustration. They're entitled to voice their frustration. They clearly have been ignored and they're still being ignored as if they were lunatics and treasonous, and treasonous now, which is beyond stupid. Can you imagine? You, you know exactly from where from where the wind is blowing, right? <laughs> how can how can how can how can this guy today still be in office? You know? yeah, yeah. This is a shame. This is a shame. No, I don't think this would oh. happen with Black Lives Matters protesters. Let me tell you something. Oh yeah. 
We don't have to even go there. If these insurrectionists were black, they would have been shot in the face. And my God, if these insurrectionists were Muslim, they would have been sniped from the top of buildings. So I want to know from the Capitol Hill police, what, what, what is it? Is it just white people? Or is it Donald Trump supporters? Why do you scream at people for walking across the street three blocks away from the Capitol? Why are you known as badasses around the Capitol? But then Trump supporters come in and you open the fucking doors for them. You open the doors for them and let them breach the people's house. What is wrong with you? I mean, in case you do not recognize the voice, it was Mr. Morning Joe, Joe Scarborough. Um, well, uh, as much as I don't like him, he's totally right. Exactly. That's, that's, that's why we are playing him, you know, because, uh, but, but he raises, he raises the right question here. What if those people were black, were Muslim? I think uh, they would have been knee deep in blood if that would have been the case. Of course, of after, course. And then, after, and then what, after what we have seen in the oh, summer, yeah. right? And then you have the audacity of uh, Hannity and others on Fox to come out and say, oh, uh, Biden and these people, the Democrats and the leftist media are uh, accusing the police of being racist by saying this, that uh, more people would be... Of course you know that it's the fact. I mean, there's no question in anybody's sane's mind that that would be the question, seeing how things have been progressing and happening in the in the months and years up to now. That it, it's, not a, it's not even a question in anybody's logical uh, mind that that, that that is the case. Yeah, it's not a matter of uh, accusing the police of being racist. It's just a matter of the bias, and it's 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 there, and it's indisputable. 